Oh, everybody. I don't even know where to look on this thing. I haven't done a video in a long time, and I'm trying to look straight on, and it looks like I'm looking to. So I'm not sure where the camera is. I thought, thought it was on the other end. No, I'm that end. Anyway, I haven't done a video in quite some time. Um, and I look a mess. I just got out of the show. Oh, um, and the reason why is because I haven't been doing like crafty type videos in a really long time and my channel is Almondinger Homestead so we've kind of been doing I've been doing more of that kind of stuff um, and I really wasn't going to do these kind of videos mostly for security reasons um Safety and security. <laughs> but, I don't know. I decided to go ahead and show you. So, um, when all this COVID stuff started and people were, like, rushing to the stores and shopping, um, I, my husband and I weren't going. Um, we had no need a reason to be out there because um, where the crowds are um, you're not gonna see me there <laughs> I'm just not one of them people that will go rushing out um, because and the reason why we weren't there because we already um, prepare for things like that and we have for many years um, not where I would like to be um, but on this property here, we've got, it's not very big, but we raise our own, well, we have chickens and pigs and a couple cows. They won't be ready for a couple more years, but we have, uh, pigs that we do, looks like twice a year now, and we sell the meat, um, or sell the pigs. So anyway, I thought um, I'm going to show you my kitchen, and it's a total mess. Um, I'm trying to rearrange, and I'll show you my pantry. And I was in the, oh, I, and this is I squirrel a lot, so I'm, um, please forgive me. But um, I was just getting ready to give me some breakfast, um, and it is almost twelve o'clock now. But I I start doing things, and I squirrel there and squirrel there, and that's. That's how I do things. And I know it's not <laughs> right. But anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around. Um, so you can see. Well, you can see my messy kitchen. And I'll explain why things are the way they are. All right, let's change things around. Did it change? It did not. Can I not change when I'm recording? Wow. That's weird. I thought I could. Nope, all it's doing is taking pictures. Oh, well, that sucks. Huh. I thought I could. All right. Well, let me stop and let me turn this around. All right. <laughs> now I have to piece this thing together. So, this is my messy kitchen. I'm showing you... Oh, my cat. i got to clean that up. Um... This area, and I have no idea why there's a cable cord in it, but it has been since we moved here. This area, we, we have a, like a china hutch coming in today, and nothing's new. It's one we got at a thrift store. And so I had this buffet, and I moved this over, and this is where I keep, keep my good dishes and Christmas stuff. And so I have this stuff here. And we have chicken, but right now this thing is filled with garlic. And I should dehydrate it. I'm going to get rid of this. Because um, at one point I wanted like a Tuscany, kind of Spanish kind of theme kitchen. Well, that didn't work out because as far as I got. <laughs> so I'm going for the country kind of look. Um, 
and there's a window there, but it's too bright. So I found this old hutchet. This one was handmade. And we have lots of spices. We get lots of spices. Um, we help the ministry. And a lot of restaurants and stuff have closed down. And they've donated to this ministry. And so we ended up with some of the stuff. Not all of it. There's tons of it. We got these little jars at a yard sale so i'm just basically using them for stuff like this and this was another um coffee mm, what do you call it you know where you go buy coffee they shut down so we ended up with some of this this is all we ended up with it's more of this so in here this is a mess. This is where I keep my um, oxygen absorbers. I have uh, two air fryers. This is the newest one. I'll show you that. And then this, we have another air fryer. Um, and these things go to those jars I just showed you. And we have these things we're sealing up jars and I don't have any in here right now but that's where I keep that stuff oh my god and it's like I said this thing's homemade this this was a crafty thing I did um this was just a a box from a shellfish company that I put my this graphic 45 farmhouse type paper on it just mod podge that and I just keep coffee and crystal light, you know, instant coffee that I take to work and stuff. So there's crafty. Um, I showed you that. Oh, that's my three car garage. <laughs> um, this is old, not old, it's a handmade dehydrator, but it needs a fan, and we're just borrowing it. And we tried to do strawberries in it. It's got 10 racks in it. I mean, it, it worked, but the strawberries that we had um, were tart. And so we're not really good at dehydrating. And someone gave us some pointers on what to do with strawberries. So maybe next time. This is a mess I'm trying to clean up. One of the problems we have with canning is like, where do you keep all the jars? Um, so I have this container here that I'm filling up with the, um, <laughs> I want to say lids, but that's not it. Rings. And these need to be washed. And these jars are washed. Um, and we kept them in the garage, but now we can't keep them in there. Um, well, not yet. We're going to build... Hopefully, we're going to build a room in part of the garage so we can keep the stuff in there, but it's not ready yet. So, i got to figure out where to keep this stuff. So, we do canning, and I, this is a table we destroyed canning and dehydrating. And I am, if I had the notion, it could be refinished, but I'm not doing it. It's got two sleeves two two sleeves two leaves that go with this too but we're just gonna give it away and hopefully they can do it so this is one air fryer we got well and it's got air fryer convection oven regular oven i mean it kind of does a lot of different things and trays we need to put back in there uh, nothing exciting here but in our pantry i had a shelf that I kept all this kind of stuff, you know, the roasters, crock pots, skillets and things. There's our food saver, you know, an extra coffee maker. So anyway, these kind of things, but um, we were canning more and getting more food and we needed more space. There's our eggs. 
that we collect from our chickens. We have four chickens left. Um, and I'm in the process. As soon as I eat, I'm going to finish. <laughs> I, I need to clean the kitchen. Um, that's another box of rings. Um, so like I said, we help out a ministry. Um, passing out food to everybody. And the, if the stores are empty, um, daily we're giving out food. Or they're giving out food. And they call us and we um, haul a bunch of food. And then we give it away. Tons of food. I mean, lots of food. Like I said, restaurants and stores for some reason. Well, we already know why the restaurants aren't doing well. Stores, the just it's just not getting to them, or they're not no longer ordering that stuff that's still being produced. So anyway, so there's tons of food, and I've told different people to look for different places what to look for. So anyway, I'm rambling. So I'm gonna show you my pantry, and it's still a mess. I'm still trying to get stuff in order. So this is just, we have three bedroom, a three bedroom house. And so we've turned one bedroom into a pantry. Uh, we've sealed, there's a window there. We've sealed that up to keep this room cool. Close the vents. So I'm still in the process of, and we've been here for five years now. So as we, we bought these shelves at Home Depot. Uh, Costco even I uh, and we've been collecting food and we've been storing it and so we've been canning we've got some even cake we've canned some cake and that white stuff you're seeing is just flour from the jars um, got some vegetables and some soups um, chicken sausages more vegetables down there. We can some, need some stew. We got five gallon buckets. That one there is filled with pickles. Um, we've got rice. We've got, what is that? Oh, oats, steel cut oats. Um, I have another container I need to go through. Drinks. Canned a bunch of butter, a bunch of meat. And we can go through detail if you wish. Got some lard. Um, my, my goal is to get rid of all boxes. Um, so I'm still, got stuff over here that I've packaged or, is sometimes it gets overwhelming. <laughs> got some cans we can can, you know, open them up and recan. Five gallon buckets full of rice and different things. This is pancake mix over here. Um, potatoes and onions and then here we have things that aren't food but also you'll need like toothpaste and toilet paper <laughs> just saying we didn't have to go to the store um, so anyway that's just a, a run rundown um, I'll probably make some more videos and go into more details with things but I just noticed there's a lot of new people it's my cat <laughs> one of my cats new people getting into this and so oh, there's my other air fryer and I thought why not why not help people you know, try and get started. If you have any questions, you can ask me. And I'll try and do... Well, that's my goal anyway. I want to do some more videos. But I'm not into... We're not doing the crafty thing for a while anymore. Right? Currently, we've got other things that we want to take care of. So anyway, let me end this video and I will... Talk to you later. Bye-bye.